I'd like to pick up on just one or two areas again, and one which I think is probably taxing a lot of people at the moment is the idea that there doesn't seem to be, again, within the report, that people are denied to, the opportunity to assume responsibility over their own situations at such times, and in a sense, really, to paraphrase, that there doesn't seem to be much in the way of uh, conversations or, or an understanding between the, the, the authorities and the community at large. I think it's a very good point, and uh, it's worth stressing that uh, this report uh, contains not just the critique of UK counter-terrorism policy, but also another report looking at the lessons of uh, Northern, Ar uh, Northern Irish terrorism and, and bringing in the whole question of uh, the role of the local community and uh, what role it can play in helping to reduce uh, terrorist outrages and so on. I think uh, from now on that point is going to be uh, fully understood. Uh, acting on it is more difficult. Uh, so far, certainly, the, the Muslim community in, uh, in Britain has, at least through its official spokespeople, has made it very clear that they want to play a very positive part uh, in, in helping to prevent these uh, uh, outrages. But at the same time, there are voices within the Muslim community, and I have every sympathy with this, who say, hang on a minute, uh, we cannot be made the scapegoats here. We cannot be the ones who are held 100% responsible for what has happened. Uh, because after all, these people, uh, although living in our midst, were living in the midst of everyone. And uh, we had no more clue than anybody else as to uh, what was going to happen. So let us make this a joint responsibility and not one simply of the Muslim community. And I think that that's right. What would you hope, given that this report actually now exists, and given the, the the kind of pressure cooker we seem to be in at the moment, what would you hope that this report would do? I think uh, what uh, I hope is, in a sense, what's happened, and that there, is, uh, there are no taboo areas, there are no no-go areas in uh, the discussion that we now need to have about how to tackle terrorism. We cannot see this purely as a security matter. Uh, we have to see it also in uh, political terms, perhaps even in socio-economic terms. Uh, we can't uh, divorce it from wider issues of the fight against terrorism, whether in Afghanistan or Iraq or the Middle East or, or even in uh, uh, countries such as Egypt. It's right that those issues are discussed. This is not to make any crude or simplistic assumptions about what is happening in, say, Iraq and attacks on the, on the streets of London. There is no uh, crude causal connection between those things. But we would be uh, fooling ourselves if we deny the possibility that there might be connections. And if our report has helped to break those taboos and to allow now a full and frank discussion in the media, in the press, among politicians and so on, I think that's all for the good.